As we learn more about these things called vectors, we need to start talking a little bit about how do you do operations with these guys? We're, we're very good with operations with numbers. We can add them and subtract them and multiply and divide. And we know all the different operations for numbers, but these vectors are new and are a little different. So we need to, need to kind of explore that a little bit. So here, let's talk about uh, how we add and subtract vectors very briefly. So let's say we have one vector in component form, vector u, which is u1 comma u2 and another vector v, which is v1 comma v2. To add these two guys to get your answer, your new vector, so to speak, what you're gonna do is for your first component is you're gonna add the first components of u and v. And then that'll be your first component for your new vector, for your sum. So we'll take u1 plus v1, and then that sum will be your, your first component in, in the sum. And then we'll take the second components and add them, u2 plus v2, and then that will be your second component in the sum. And then I'm not gonna write down the subtraction one, but it's the same thing. You would just subtract u1 minus v1 and u2 minus v2. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the, what I'll leave you with in this video is a, a graphical interpretation for this. It's actually got a really neat um, interpretation for adding vectors uh, when, when you look at it graphically. So let's say you had one vector u and you had another vector v. If you took u plus v, what, what you're basically doing is you're tacking v onto the end of u. That's what it means when you add, when you add four plus seven, that means you go zero to four and then you add seven more to that to get to 11, if you think in terms of a number line. Well, this is not that much different. If you took V, and remember V it can be drawn anywhere. We normally draw it starting at the origin, but it doesn't have to be started at the origin. You can start V where U leaves off and then keep drawing, that you, that's certainly allowed. So if you did that, it would look something kind of like this. So you would draw V picking up where U left off, so U plus V. Or another way to say it would be, um, you could say V plus U. And notice no matter which way you do it, you end up at the same place. So here, let me hide this. And look, you notice you end up at the same place. Well, this reveals what u plus v looks like. So here, if I hide this one, um, this guy right here would actually be u plus v. Not the crooked ones, vectors aren't crooked. Uh, a vector is a vector, it's a straight line segment with an initial point and a terminal point with a magnitude and direction and those sorts of things. But this is where u plus v is. Um, and, and so like I said earlier, it's got a really nice graphical interpretation to it, thinking of it as one vector picking up where the other vector left off.